So what exactly happened at the Battle of Pendraic? I mean, Kaladog brags about it being a successful ambush, but the Sturgeons say they did most of the fighting in a shield wall, and Lucan says they knew about the ambush, but they still marched right in, and the Valandians insist they slaughtered the Azrai, who chased the routing Batanians, but the Kujaites says that they killed the Valandian knights, but were slaughtered in turn, and the Azrai really, really want you to know about Namir. As an amateur historian, this is run-of-the-mill, he said, she said. Sources differ all the time, no big deal. What we do is figure out who has a reason to exaggerate, who has a motive to alter the truth, and who would benefit from lying. I will attempt to use these methods to tell a basic, coherent story of what happened at the Battle of Pendraic. If I'm asked, I'll make a sequel video going through each claim and citing my sources. This story is not what certainly happened, but it is our best guess to what occurred. It's not going to help you complete the quest though, you're still going to have to find 10 damn nobles. Alright, I'll begin with the setup. We know that Batania and Sturgia declared a joint invasion of the Empire, who has a defensive alliance with Flandia. The Emperor, Noretzes, hires Kujait mercenary cavalry and Asari mercenary infantry and marches towards Pendraic. The Valandians are slow to react, and the Empire attempts to shame the honor-centric barons to his defense, but he fails. I cannot say whether or not he expected the Valandians to aid his enemies at Pendraic, but I would guess he didn't. The Empire encamped opposite the fortress near Pendraic, presumably Pendraic Castle. Running along the path between the two forts was a small river that created a hilly valley covered with trees. It was here that King Kaladog decided to place his troops in ambush. I cannot say whether or not Noretzis knew about the ambush, but I do know what he did. He sent his vanguard through the valley, mostly comprised of Imperial cavalry and Asari light footmen. The Batanians sprang their ambush, but many were killed when the Asari threw their javelins. Led by a young warrior of the Banu Saran, Namir, the Azurite infantry chased the Batanians out of the woods. Once they were in the open, King Durther, commanding from a nearby hill, ordered his Vlandian knights to charge the disorganized light infantry. In the valley, the unsupported Imperial vanguard was similarly slaughtered by the Batanian Falksmen. It is possible their losses were intentional way for Nerizis to kill off his political opponents and call the Azurite, but this is hearsay. The chronology of the next few events are uncertain. We know that, in the course of the battle, the Kujait cavalry engaged the Valandian cavalry. Both sides took heavy losses, with the Noyan of the Kurgets being killed. Yet the Valandians were forced off the battlefield. Sometime after the Azari were charged, the Sturgeons, led by King Vadenslav, formed a shield wall near the Imperial camp. The Batanians, too immersed in the revelry of the Imperial massacre, did not join them. Noretzis met the Sturgeons head on, fighting with the support of his missile troops that were still fresh. The Sturgeon shield wall held, and Noretzis retreated to the safety of his camp. The Sturgeons then assaulted the walls with ladders and, with heavy losses including their King Vadenslav, they took the fort. A Sturgeon chief killed Noretzis and took his banner, breaking it to mock the new Sturgeon king, Ragenwald. After the battle, a dispute arose between the Sturgeons and Batanians over the spoils of the battle. The Batanians felt that they had done their part and deserved their share, but the Sturgeons considered the Batanians to have betrayed them by not joining in the melee. This permanently soured the Batanian and Sturgeon relationship. The leadership of the Kergits was taken over by the Noyen's wife, Mezui. Her lands were raided by many clans, but mostly the Arkit. As for Namir, he returned home a hero, having survived the battle, but was soon killed for having an affair with a member of the Banu killed. <laughs> 